Today, let's talk about how I do interstitial journaling on LogSeq Mobile. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm a founder of a 5,000 member design community. And in this channel, I talk about visual thinking, self-development, and design. And if we're talking about self-development and design, one of the things I do regularly is to journal. And in particular, I practice interstitial journaling. I talked about this in a previous episode, and I talked about the tool that I use for interstitial journaling, LogSeq. Now, recently, LogSeq came out with a mobile version for beta testers. I applied as a beta tester for LogSeq and this is what I've been using it for. A brief recap, LogSeq is an open source outliner. It's a note-taking tool that you can use if you'd like to take notes and what's cool about a tool like LogSeq is the ability to do what's called bidirectional linking. Now, bidirectional linking is that capability to make a link and instantly have that link link back to the previous source link. LogSeq is heavily inspired by other tools like Roam Research and Notion, which I explained in the previous video. Now, I also talked about how I do interstitial journaling in a previous episode with LogSeq. As a recap, interstitial journaling is the practice of taking stock what's happening to you throughout the day. Open your note tool, you take a timestamp, what are you doing at that moment, and just dump your thoughts there in the notes. It's a great way to keeping stock of what's happening to you is allowing you to be mindful Studies have shown that being mindful helps mental well-being. So that's why I do interstitial journaling. Now, what does a mobile LogSeq on mobile look like? Let me show you. This is how my LogSeq looks like on mobile. I'll show you how it looks like. And the way it looks like here is very similar to how it looks like on the desktop. It has some shortcuts when you're editing that displays the keyboard at the bottom with some shortcuts like uh, indent checklist and the ability to create bidirectional links for instance if i say log seek here it makes that link there and if i click on that it will show uh, when i mentioned the word log seek just as i mentioned before how i do bidirectional linking now before i could have used log seek because it's in beta testing i used another app called test flight test flight is a tool for developers developers of log seek would tell you to download test flight and they will send you a link to test flight and you can click on it and it will open that particular app which will test and i have that right here with me test flight and along with a couple of apps that i see here that are also i'm testing beta testing for developers and i open logseek and this is how logseek will look like now before i use logseek i don't open logseek from the app directly i use a shortcut iphone has this ability to create shortcuts for you and if you can download the shortcut that i made here for you if you'd like to instantly capture the current time and open logseq for you if you're using logseq as well you can use the same shortcut with other app to instantly copy paste the time for you so you can do interstitial journaling so the shortcut i'm using i'll show you here that i made is i call it logseq entry now logseq entry let me just edit it right now whenever i use the shortcut logseq entry if i click on logseq entry it will instantly open logseq for me what's interesting is i can just paste and it will paste the current time uh, used uh, my shortcut my shortcut to capture time to capture time now normally when i'm using interstitial journaling with my log seek i also use the speech to text function i just captured my thoughts on this app and it's there it types what i am saying directly to the app and going back to my shortcut let me show you how it looks like so what it does is it will open the current date, copy the format to a clipboard, make the clipboard in bold format so that when I paste it in my note, it's bold. I like my time stamps in bold so I can easily see it when I'm taking a look at it on my journal. If you'd like to get a copy of that shortcut that I'm using, you can click on the link below and just use it for yourself if you're using an iPhone. Check out my previous video on interstitial journaling with LogSeq and Maybe you'd like to see my sketches that I've been doing behind the scenes of my sketching. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you again next time.